What does this old-fashioned end table have to do with a woodcarver's mallet? Keep watching and you'll find out. Hello there. Welcome to WB Fine Woodworking. I'm Don Bullock. Back early in the month, when James King decided to make a challenge for people to make a mallet, I thought, that sounds like fun. I can make a mallet. So this is what I did. This is one of the table legs from a set of coffee tables and end tables that I made back for our first apartment when my wife and I got married in 1971. The style of furniture was called Early American back in those days, and it was a very popular style. It was my wife's favorite. The end table I showed earlier is the only survival from the set. The coffee table was given away, and I disassembled the other end table. This is a leg from the table that I disassembled. These legs were the last thing I turned on my old shopsmith. Until the last couple of weeks, I hadn't turned anything since then. Here you can see a couple of holes left from the brackets that held the leg onto the table. Most likely they'll end up in the final turning, but that's okay. Just a mallet. I mounted the leg on my lathe between the drive center and live center and started turning. After I was satisfied with the shape, I started sanding and moving up the grits. Thank you. 
This is one of our boys, Caicos, checking out the mallet after I put the second coat of shellac on it. I'm not sure how they measure the weight of woodcarver's mallets. I know they sell them by weight. This one I got at Woodcraft many years ago says 12 ounces. So let's put it on the scale and see what it says. Well, it says eight and a quarter ounces. So I'm not sure how they came up with the 12 ounces. Um, let's put the one I just made on here and see if that's a little heavier. It says nine and a half. In case you're wondering about this scale and why it looks so strange, this is what we use to weigh puppies. So here's the mallet close up. Turning it over here, we can see the holes that were left from the brackets that I used to hold it onto the table. That was before I knew how to do mortise and tenon. There's the head and the end of the handle. By the way, this is left over from the original piece that I turned. So as you saw with just a few turns of the lathe, well, maybe more than a few turns, I was able to take a table leg just like this one that I made in 1971, which is a long time ago, and turn it into a wood carver's mallet. This will be a handy tool for me out in the shop when I get back to doing some wood carving. I haven't done that in a long time either. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up down below. Ask any questions that you have and make comments if you wish. Please subscribe to our channel if you haven't done so already. And thank you all very much for watching.